It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Washington Commanders and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Atlanta Falcons. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. one teed up and we are underway from Atlanta. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league the young rookie quarterback. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. To throw right away is Howell. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. A man from just south of here in McDonough, it's Antonio Gibson. Oh, what a juke into space. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 31 yards there and a first down. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run uh, him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yeah. Backside guys, man. That's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Now throwing on first down here. That's Samuel caught left side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection.
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. A handoff running left is Gibson. Shifts by him at the 25. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now, during that run, an injury here. They got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Little bootleg here. Howell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Four yards the pick up. First down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Back to Gibson and another catch for him. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Yet another completion here on his opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. Open for touchdown! Logan Thomas, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bullying his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was capped off by the Logan Thomas touchdown catch. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43 and six while he was in college, has speed, dual threat ability, and the production off the charts while he was in school, and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 25 yard line. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Chase Young. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match 
because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Intended for JJ that was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Howell out of the shotgun. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step. And that's a big pickup right there on first down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off play action. It's Hal. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to have the first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet did a little toe tap, 
to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Calais Campbell on the stop. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. Second and seven from the 20. On second and seven, Powell. That is going to go down back at the 27 yard line. He said, Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. Did much to the end zone the last time out. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Third and long, here's Howell. Got his target, Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, so much for holding them to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear, and that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver, and it sets up a first and goal. Gibson will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Sly on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And the result a touchdown for Washington. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and three. Got a man, it's London. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Ritter and London. 
London team up there. First down, Atlanta. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use the size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Three yards remain for second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw into the hands of London. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. to throw again. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, Brandon, we can see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. They're going to look to throw. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Young Way Koo on for the field goal. A 51 yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Well, that's something of a pick me up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. Just outside the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes Antonio Gibson as he's set for another drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On first down, Hal. 
And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. To throw again on second down. Powell. No, oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Powell's throw into the hands of McLaurin. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. It's Howell with another throw. He's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down at six now from the 42. Now he'll look to throw it. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to have it here just past the 25. The rookie was trying to push it downfield with the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Well, the Falcons now are gonna go on offense late in this first half. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. That's caught. It's Frank Darby. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they're fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. 
Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Got this complete to the tight end, Pitts. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Second and two. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a gain of a yard. And third and one now. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call, because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Two knocks this one through the post. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for Washington. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. end zone it's Avery Williams and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually nothing in the ground attack either so certainly something has to change here in quarter three and I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 
It will go down as a gain of six. And now that sets up third and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis, and the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. A give up the middle to Gibson. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Once more, Gibson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. First down, how to throw. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Throwing again on second down. Powell on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in the quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Powell. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead is up to 15 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Atlanta regains possession of the football. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ballgame. 
Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Give them a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five. His throw incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This one left side caught by Patterson. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackle. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's pulled in at the 32. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Washington's offense ready to go again. There's Antonio Gibson. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Complete. It's Dodson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now they go play action with Hal. Blitz coming and down he goes. Credit the sack to the safety, Jesse Bates. Safety blitz, such a fun play call to witness when it works. And the deep man can get home for a sack. Great timing by him. Interception earlier in this contest. Now a sack, he's definitely campaigning for player of the week honors, isn't he, partner? once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Powell, a hit as he throws there, incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third and long, here's Howell. Taking a shot for Samuel. Touchdown! Curtis Samuel, 58 yards. And the Commanders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. 
He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Now Joey Sly for the point after. He's got it, and the lead the swells. It's 28 to 6. A drive there of just four plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Catch is made by Arcega Whiteside. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And his throw here is incomplete. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second and nine, Powell. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. And here's a give to Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front. Say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go again with Gibson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw right side, taken in by Gibson. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. Got a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Working with second and five now. Second down, Hal back to pass. That's complete, right around the eight. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Commanders up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. An extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Commander is 35. Falcon 6.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And here now come the Falcons. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Falcons. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, 67 yards. And the Falcons are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. And it'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll try the left side with Gibson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 130 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 10 yards there, good for Washington first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. to back good plays have them on the move on first down
A handoff for Gibson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Play three of the drive down is successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. This was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about, a true team game, and they got it done in this one.